Hey, welcome to Arizona Living with Rob Scribner. Let's get started. Hello, Arizona, and welcome to Arizona Living with Rob. And today I want to talk about driving and traffic in Arizona. And uh, I apologize if we get a little breeze or um, a little bit of windy today, but it's actually 100 degrees today, which is uh, actually cooler. <laughs> so uh, anyway, thought I'd let you enjoy the, the pool behind me. So what I wanted to talk about is, I've lived up in the Northwest, uh, Washington and Oregon, driven through California, and I've been through Nevada and some other states. But I gotta tell you, driving in Arizona, to me, is so easy. Uh, it's a little intimidating when you first get here, thinking it's gonna be like all the other big cities. It's not. So you probably have heard, uh, probably because Arizona is a lot more flat than say a place like Seattle. And so adapting the roads with growth has been a problem in places like that, uh, Portland too. And uh, we uh, have a grid system. So everything's pretty square. Uh, so a couple of things I really like is, one is some roads will literally go through several cities um, because of the grid. Like uh, there's a road here called Warner. Warner will go through uh, several cities um, and once you kind of, if you get turned around on everything, you just find one of those main roads, you know eventually it's going to end up in your city. So what do I mean by cities is a lot of people say, well, do you live in Phoenix? No. <laughs> but, however, all these cities around here sometimes get in, encompassed in the word Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix is a city, and then there's several cities around it. When you're driving around, you can't tell when you've gone from one city to the other. It's just not obvious at all until you see a sign. We have Tempe, we have Mesa, we have Scottsdale, we have, um, gosh, go surprise, uh, Chandler, uh, Gilbert, oh gosh, it goes on and on. We have several cities. Uh, however, we share a lot of the same roads because everything's on a grid system. So it kind of makes it easy to get around. The other thing you really like is most of our roads are two to three lanes wide. I'm talking about the roads, uh, the main roads. So what's really nice is your slower people can be in the outside lane or ready to turn. Center lane you kind of hang into that if you're going long distance on one particular road. The outside, uh, inside lane is kind of designed for people who want to go by you. Um, but it's just so nice because there's lots of room on the roads for, you know, you get your aggressive drivers. Ah, let them have the center lane, no problem. Uh, if you're getting ready to turn or anything like that, uh, you know, take the outside lane. The other thing you'll find really interesting in Phoenix is signage. Yeah, signage for, like, uh, stores and stuff. Gosh, when I was in Washington, signs were all over the place, messy, no... In, not consistent at all. Some are bigger than the others and stuff like that. Oh, comes a little wind. Sorry. Anyway, uh, uh, here uh, they don't have all those big signs. The only problem with that is when you come to an area where there's like a strip mall or something like that, it's kind of hard to spot some of the businesses you want to see. So it's really important to use your cell phone to find stores and places to shop around here. And uh, once again, that wind's blowing again. I hope it's not whistling too much. Uh, feels good, though. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, our freeways uh, are very large, very wide. Um, do they get gummed up? Yeah, there's a few spots. Um, especially, like, there's people that live in and work in Phoenix that want to live in the outside rural areas. And so the main roads out to the rural areas, like uh, uh, 101 and 17 up by... Uh, uh, heads out towards uh, uh, carefree area and stuff like that can get really gummed up. Downtown Phoenix can get kind of gummed up. Um, but really the traffic is nothing compared to where I came from, which was Seattle. And uh, I hear, you know, Portland can be a bear too. But uh, all in all, our traffic uh, moves around here. This, this place is designed for uh, movement and a freeway system we have encircles all the cities and also crosses into the cities. So if there, you have several ways of getting home depending on what city you live in. Um, I think that when you move down here, uh, I would try to 
buy a home that's fairly close to one of the freeways so you can uh, get on if you have to work get on the freeways quickly but uh, it's quite amazing quite amazing how easy it is to drive around here how easy it is to, uh, to find things how easy it is to take any type of vehicle through here even if you had a large rig uh, you'd be surprised how much room there is. The other thing that's kind of funny, and I've mentioned this before, when you go into big shopping centers and stuff, you don't necessarily want to park as close as you can to the front door. Because you'll find, especially this time of year when it's so hot, people are trying to find shade, so they'll actually park their car further back if there happened to be a tree in the parking lot that's giving off shade, and you see all the cars circling it. So, uh, hey, you get a little extra exercise, but... Uh, uh, yeah, um, so traffic wise, uh, uh, I think you'll, if you're so used to really uh, busy places like LA or Seattle, things like that, and you come over here, this is a piece of cake. And it's like, oh, a lot of people are moving here in Phoenix and stuff. And I have news for you there's plenty of room. There's plenty of room, plenty of room. Um, and they're building houses here and there and stuff. People are bailing out of California. I don't blame you. Um, and uh, come in here and you say, oh my god, is it getting crowded? Pfft, not really. There's <laughs> plenty of room. Lots of room. So yeah, uh, driving, uh, easy. Um, I think the hardest thing is making sure to maintain your car around here. I've talked about that before. Tires uh, wear out a little faster. Batteries wear out fast. If, you, uh, if you're um, lucky enough to uh, uh, get two years out of your battery, you're doing good. The trick is, buy a three-year warranty battery, then when the battery goes out in two years, uh, either get a discount or get a replacement. <laughs> you heard it first here, guys. So, uh, um, yeah, um, the only thing I think you got to be careful, we have a little bit of a problem down here with wrong-way drivers. And, and you say, well, yeah, most of them are intoxicated. Yeah, but some people get turned around. Some of the ways that we get onto our freeways and off of our freeways is a little odd. And they're not consistent and that's probably the biggest problem is they're not consistent like in Seattle you're used to taking the exit is off to the right and you usually do a clover leaf or something to get on uh, that doesn't necessarily happen on our freeways so you got to pay attention when you get off a freeway because they're not consistent in how they they don't do the little clover leaf all the time <laughs> I got a dog swimming behind me it's hot and uh, that's how we keep a a Labrador cool in the summer around here. She's great. She's fine the other nine months, but we got to be careful on three months here where we keep her in cool areas, places she can play in the pool. And by the way, put boots on your dog. <laughs> I know it looks funny, uh, but yes, uh, a lot of people like us have boots for our dogs when we take them for walks. Oh, you're such a good girl. Cinder got her new boots. Yes. Yeah, you're good. I would be. We're going to go in here. Uh, by the way, there's plenty of sidewalks. It's easy to get around. Um, yeah, so I decided I'd pass that on to you. That Don't be intimidated by the big city. Don't be intimidated by the traffic. It's, uh, you know, we have our problems here and there, but nothing like where I came from. Uh, I think you'll enjoy getting around here in Phoenix. So I want to thank you very much for watching. And, uh, Please uh, make sure you hit the little bell down below so you get notifications when we make new videos. And uh, please don't take, uh, forget to subscribe. I appreciate it. Like our videos and share them all over the world. We'd appreciate it. So until next time, we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Hey, thank you for watching Arizona Living with Rob. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. Till next time, bye.